Charlie giving you Friday's video and we're just going to do a quick game here guess which chart this is so um, if you were looking at a chart here right now I've taken off I think you can't see which mark it is some of you will know exactly what it is straight away but anyway um, if you're just looking at this chart with a few trend lines horizontal um, support and resistance lines on um, what would where would you be thinking it, this market would be going next so the likelihood is that you'd be thinking down it's come up to a trend line over here um, it's got uh, it's hit this horizontal resistance here as well so it's hit a trend line and horizontal resistance and it's coming off and so the next logical zone would be down here at these prior highs down here so the logical level for this market at this stage of the information that we have would be down okay let's go to another one um, now this market um, again we can see this markets come up to a horizontal resistance line which comes all the way back to here and here um, so it's come back up to that zone but it has it did break out of it but it's not managed to hold it and it's come back down to it it's just breaking through so it's, 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 the jury's still out on this one at the moment in that you never know that one it, by the end of this bar or the next bar it could be back up above this line so jury's out a little bit but if it got a strong close back below this line then you'd be looking for this market to come lower as well then if we go to this market um, I've got some old trend lines on here uh, we'd look at this trend line here which goes back quite a way um, here I know you can't see the dates um, I've purposely left the dates out but a lovely trend line and as we can see recent in the recent past it's really been just um, bobbing up and down on this trend line the way that I would see that price action is that ultimately I'd be looking for this to break down some traders see that as a strong thing I see that as a weak thing it's a bit like um, you keep on tapping on a piece of glass and eventually it's going to break and so I would see that one as being a down uh, a resolution to the downside at, at some point there and br a proper break of that trend line so just by taking some simple charts uh, some charts with just some trend lines and I know I did something on this like this a few weeks ago where you just take everything off and just say okay this can be just form part of your analysis before you put your indicators on and I like indicators but it's still useful to be able to just see the price action now even when I've got my indicators on I can pretty much just see price anyway I don't have to um, take everything off but for a lot of people it's important it might be useful to take everything off now and again when you're doing your analysis and, and just to get down to its its core roots so to speak so oh there's one more um, charts have a look at here here's another one here lovely trend line below here we see we've broken below it and we've come back up to it um, so there could be a reaction back down but at the same time we've got a trend line across these highs which maybe it's going to work its way across to and then you never know ultimately break out of the trend line because when we get a declining trend line usually at some point market will once it's had several tests like this one has might even want to break out that so you, you never know um, okay so let's go back to the first one again and um, this was the first chart we looked at what 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 chart market was this uh, let's bring it in it was the euro dollar and this is a monthly chart and here is the price <laughs> there you go so that was the euro dollar the second chart we looked at was the pound dollar where we said well okay it's just on this trend line oh sorry horizontal su resistance support line at the moment um, we'll have to watch that one but that one could be obviously interesting um, the third chart we looked at was the Australian dollar versus US dollar where it's bobbing along this trend line here and I'm looking at the potential for that to break lower and then the last chart I think there was only just one more that we looked at was actually the dollar yen where it could just react from this trend line right now and just start to roll over um, but we have to also accept that it could want to also come up to there so sometimes you're looking at um, probabilities possibilities with technical analysis that's what it's all about um, so you don't always have all the information um, immediately but at least you have options and you can say okay well if it doesn't react down here and it starts coming up then and it gets up to this trend line then it's likely going to break out that trend line at some point so that sort of thing um, but if it doesn't and it comes off 
then we might be having a half decent reaction from that. There you go. Just a short video this week and be back in touch next week.